Hello everybody and welcome to another Fallout 76 video. Today we're going to be farming acid in the forest. I know I posted an acid farming guide, but we're going to show you today how to grab some quick and easy acid. So the first place we're going to go is over here to Wixton Homestead. Right here on my map marker there's a shed and we're going to be heading towards that. Uh, yeah, somebody's placed a camp here, so hopefully they haven't been out to farm the bags. We'll we'll go and find out. So we're the first when we go there, once we fast travel, when we found or when we go there, we're looking for bags of fertilizer. While they contain fertilizer, and they're really good for fertilizer, they also contain acid. So often unlooked because fertilizer isn't needed a lot, but bags of fertilizer are great because you're getting two resources in one. And you can sell bulk fertilizer at your store for about 30% of the advertised value of it. So it's still worth picking up and selling if you're uh, interested in making some money from it. So this is the shed over here. And if we go around the outside, scattered around, there are different bags of fertilizers. So if we go over here, you'll see that it contains one acid and four fertilizer. We have another one. So common items that contain acid are makeshift batteries, coolant, um, that crushed acetone container contains copper, but not acid. I'll grab some other junk while we're here. I'm actually surprised it's all still here with a uh, camp being nearby. Oftentimes people will come and loot this. Fertilizer. There's quite a lot in here. I think there's about 10 bags. Just want to make sure we got them all. Two crushed acetone containers. So this is a very nice place to come, mainly because there's a tinkerer's workbench here. One of the few tinkerer's workbenches in the forest. Uh, and again, very close to Vault 76. Uh, we also have a good amount of junk. So I'm just going to break down what we got from here immediately. So let's go over to our junk tab over to our junk tab we got one aluminum two copper four lead uh, 52 raw fertilizer you can drop it again if it's going to take up space for you but I'd recommend bulking it and selling it and 13 waste acid from that so we're going to go over and grab some more from uh, Flatwoods there's a little bit of a community garden about there and we can get at least another three more bags. So just make your way through the city. If we want some additional acid, we can come over here. We can pick up a bag of chlorine bags of chlorine scrap for a good amount of acid grab some of the objects here as well uh, because we have uh, some good lead steel um, there's a uh, lead in tin cans and paint cans and uh, so we're gonna go over here nope we're gonna go down over here again another great place there's a makeshift battery over here another great place for a tinkerer's workbench So pop over to here, grab the gas. Oil again is very good. You can sell oil, blow torches, scrap for oil. So there's quite a lot of good materials coming through here. Antifreeze bottle has acid in it. Kitchen scale just has plastic and cafeteria trays have aluminum. So Plastic is also good because you're going to need to bulk these items if you're going to sell them. You don't have to bulk junk if you're going to sell it. Um, I've tried selling loose junk versus bulk junk, and I find people respond better to it being bulked, even though it's an extra step for them scrapping. Marketing-wise, bulk sells better, I guess. Makeshift battery again. So there should be another makeshift battery here. So 
so I know this is a bit of a detour, but we're making use of doing two things at once. Grab your oil products here. We're going to find coolant in here as well as used oil can for oil. Acetone containers contain copper. Antifreeze bottle. Uh, we have some uh, non-perishables in here, so those won't spoil in your inventory for food source. Uh, plastic in the shopping baskets, duct tape for adhesive. Come around here, there should be a ghoul and a few more fuel tanks. These will scrap to oil. There's a Nuka-Cola machine around the front. If you're farming Nuka-Colas, none of them are here though. If you happen to have a cool sweet jetpack, there is some stuff on the roof, but I won't loot that included in the pile. You can only get here with a jetpack, so unfortunately it's not the kind of thing that a low level player can farm. There's aluminum cans and uh, uh, some non-perishables up here. So if we come over here, we find one. There's a uh, ceramic here. Ceramic is used for hooking up your electrical connectors in your workshop and repairing or crafting energy weapons, but aside that, it's not useful. Bag of fertilizer, one and two. But if you need ceramic for your for your first camp, come here, grab the ceramic. Eh, we'll grab it, why not? I don't need it, need it. Oh, there's the third one. So there's three bags of fertilizer in here. So because this is sort of a, there's an agricultural center nearby, there's a lot of flower pots in the area. So again, you can get a lot of ceramic from here. So we're going to just swing over here to the agricultural center. There is some fertilizer storages here at the site, which you can also grab fertilizer from. But if this event fertile soil is up, you will have to make your way through a crowd of uh, enemies. I always loot tool chests because they drop an assortment of good stuff. Give me two seconds here to dispatch of some of the uh, locals. If you can take these out, um, robots drop uh, often aluminum, copper, uh, steel, and lead. So it's worth farming them. Uh, so there's more ceramic here. There's one, two, three bags of fertilizer there. So I'm not going to go nuts with the, or the ceramic because it's just a demonstration. There's a fertilizer storage, which we can open up and take raw fertilizer from. So it's not bags of fertilizer, it's broken down fertilizer already. But we're here for the acid from the bags, so... Again, loot those if you want. I think that's it for the bags, right? Yeah, that's it for the bags. Just gonna quickly double check this one because it's been about two years since I've done this. Yeah, that's... Oh, no. There's two more in here. One, two... We'll grab some flower pots. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this run. We're going to go back. There's more good stuff here in the uh, agricultural center, but again, if you're a low-level player, that might not be immediately achievable for you. There's a lot of enemies in there. So we're going to go back, scrap this stuff down, and see what we have. There's a lot of low-level players at my camp right now, which makes me very excited um, because it's meat week, and uh, the meat cook event is literally right on my doorstep. I have a... A porch that views it and everything. So I've been having uh, everybody hang out at my camp. Been good for sales. Let's put it that way. Yee. All right. So our total junk from this quick run. Um, the thing that was important. We were here for acid which is called Waste Acid. So we got a total of 37 Waste Acid from grabbing the objects we did. So all of that takes place in Flatwoods um, and just outside of... Um, uh, what's that farm called again? Wixen Homestead. 
So again, Wixen Homestead, and just literally a straight run through Flatwoods, and we got uh, everything else we needed. So, that's it. If you were, uh, had any questions, please post them below. I'm happy to answer them. If you have any comments or suggestions, uh, look at that, 33 lead. 33 lead! Uh, how does my outro go? I forgot that for a second. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. If you have any comments or suggestions, please post it below. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you in the next video.